Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper and I promised you a very quick Dollar Tree DIY. So let me go ahead and show you. This would be perfect um, to start planning now for any like Christmas bazaars or craft fairs. Super quick, super easy. I'm going to use a one and three eighths inch punch, just a circle punch. I've got a couple of magnets here. I've got some of my favorite paper, so I know a lot of crafters have their own favorite papers. And then I got these little gems. They're glass gems from the Dollar Tree. You get a whole big bag. There's more, I've already taken a few pieces out. And let me show you what you can make. Look at this great little magnet. Isn't that super cute? Super cute, super easy. They're a great size. So let's go ahead and get started. This one was from um, some retired paper that had the little butterflies on them. I just take my circle punch, turn it upside down so you could see, and then we're going to take uh, a nice piece that I think would work well. So I think this guy here would work well. I'm gonna punch it out. And while I'm doing that, I'm also gonna punch out this flower because I think this flower is super cute. And I just want the flower for the most part by itself. So I'm checking to see which of these two flowers would work best. And I think it's this one. There we go. I'm gonna punch that out. Now you could always just make different colors if you wanted to, because you know some of this paper has two sides. So look at that would be really cute, especially for a man. But we're gonna go with this starburst and flower here, and you could um, you could make another one here if you wanted to with this side to make matching. So one would be here, and one would be here, and those would be a perfect set together, don't you think? Let me go ahead and zoom in there for you so you can see that there. Okay, let's go ahead and now let me show you how easy this is. I'm just taking some mixed media glue. It dries clear and we're just gonna take that here And this is the hardest part, is waiting for it to, to come down the, the center there. And we're just going to put that on. All just rub it around a nice clear coat there. I'm going to get a good amount. And then... Just rub it all around. And again, remember this is gonna dry clear. There we go. And we're gonna take this guy, I'm gonna grab a little over spillage on the side there, and we're gonna push that down. And we're gonna push it down rather tightly because we want it to go onto the sides, we want to push any air bubbles out and we really want it to get centered up because you don't have a long time. This dries rather quickly. And look at that. So then you're going to take your magnet and you are also going to, because this is mixed media glue, you can use this on here as well. And that's going to stick that to the paper. Now, if you really want to seal it in, you could um, put a layer of this or Mod Podge on it and then wait for it to dry. We're going to just wait for that little guy to dry and we're going to make this second one. And you'll see how quick and easy. I mean, if you were doing this for a craft fair, this would be super easy. And in fact, my mixed media glue here 
is already almost gone so that's why it's just a little bit harder but again you're just going to put a thin layer there we go we're going to turn that little guy right upside down on the side that we want now I have tried this with pictures and I, if you wanted to do a picture you could you could take the hole punch and get a smaller picture punch out um, the face or the picture that you want and then um, oh there we go look at and then you could sorry I'm just pushing out some air bubbles that I see here and that's all you do to push those air bubbles out sit it on a flat surface and just push and those air bubbles come out but um, when you do that with a picture it'll take that ink that is on the picture and it's it's not that great so there we go now we're gonna take that glue one more time Put a little dab on there. And just center that up. Ooh. There it went. And there we go. Look how quick and easy and this one was just as easy all I did was choose the butterfly that I want line it up how I wanted it and of course I had it in the center I took the best one <laughs> but you would line it up how you want it take that there and you've got your butterfly so quick and easy great little craft fair you guys I see things like this at Staples and they're like nine dollars for a pack of three it's crazy so if you like this please give me a big thumbs up I will take pictures and put them at the end here and if you want to see more Dollar Tree DIYs make sure you subscribe because I'll tell you what this costs close to nothing alright beauties have a wonderful day and I will talk to you later bye